Hey, I'm Stephen Kim. I am 21 years old and I am currently in Los Angeles studying at the University of Southern California. I major in religious studies and education and I'm looking forward to learning how we can use social media and other tools of um, connection to better understand the world around us. Hi, Stephen. Could you please tell us about your first acupuncture session experience? What happened was when I was in high school, I used to do a lot of basketball. One time I sprained my ankle before going on a family trip to South Korea, where my family's from. And so I was just like in a crush, just like walking all over South Korea with like a bad foot. And so we try everything from like massages to cold rivers to horse bones and ginseng. And so it kind of worked, it kind of didn't work. So when I came back, I started doing a little bit more research on my own in terms of, you know, how to, you know, create pressure systems with hot and cold therapy, how to use acupuncture to specifically target different parts of, of, of my foot and my ankle, how to, you know, go through physical therapy to strengthen my tendons to help, you know, reduce the likelihood of me spraining my ankle again. And so that's kind of like the critical moment, I'd say, when I started caring and learning more about my body and, and how to take care of it. Yeah, well, what did it look like the first session of your acupuncture treatment? I was kind of scared. I don't like saying I'm scared, especially in front of my mom. But um, she was like, yeah, we're going to go see this acupuncturist I really like. Um, and I was like, so they're going to stick a needle in me? And like... How, who certified this guy to stick a needle in me? Like I wasn't sure if like he like would stick it in my neck and I would just go paralyzed or something like that. Um, but you know, I just kind of talked to the guy before we did the acupuncture, and then um, he kind of showed me like the different charts and like what specifically he was trying to target. He was trying to figure out like what was wrong. So I told him like my ankle, my back, my neck, um, or like sore, tight, and, and different things like that. So kind of talk through different things and that was kind of like how he knew exactly where to point <laughs> could kind of point out the, the different issues and then I did it the needle wasn't painful at all it was very smooth um, I was kind of surprised at how many needles were in me by the end of it how many? it was like 30 needles it was a lot of needles <laughs> but it was like all over my back and all over my legs and all over like my head and everything it, it was interesting, it was like, you know, immediately afterwards you feel that kind of like tingle after like all the blood starts flowing again, but then afterwards, like, you know, for the day or for the week afterwards, I felt a lot more just flow. I don't know how to describe it, I felt kind of like more like flowing through, like I felt like my, my blood was getting to where it needed to go to, I felt like my joints were moving a little bit more smoothly, it was, it was nice. Question. Uh, how do you view the future of Chinese medicine? Like, having this integrated approach um, both like with what we have used in the past and what we're like researching and pushing forward towards in the future if we can find a way to you know blend that two together I feel like we can get a lot more done we get healthier people we get stronger people I see Chinese you know medicine as one way to you know both as a preventative measure before things get bad but also how things can be in the face of um, in the face of something, emergency situation. If you just give one word to describe Chinese medicine, which word do you want to? Mm. First word that comes to my mind is holistic. I think it really much so like takes can, can into consideration like your body, your mind, your soul, um, how you're feeling. Thank you. Something. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you for sharing, Steve.